What's up guys, it's Jake, not your average tech dad. Have you ever wanted to replace one of these little guys in one of these? Well, I'm here to do it for you. Um, if I could do it, you could do it. it. Takes about five to 10 minutes and let's go. Have you ever wanted to swap out a receiver in a micro whoop or a, a little toothpick quad? Uh, I'm here to tell you it's not that hard. It took me about five to ten minutes and uh, I swapped this little guy out for a full range Fire Sky D16 access with telemetry receiver. Um, it just is tucked away up under here. Um, yeah, it's not that hard. I wanted a full range receiver and I also wanted it to be D16 so I didn't have to put anything on my X9 Lite. I know they have the multi-protocol pack that you can pop on there, but it's not something I wanted to do. So I'm going to show you a little bit of soldering right here and um, go over the parts I needed and uh, a quick review on how it worked. So let's go. So if you made it this far, you watched the soldering part of the video, um, it wasn't that hard. You just got to be careful. The little, little pads are pretty small, but as long as you have a decent soldering iron with decent heat, it's just a quick tap and you're good to go. Um, I also used some double-sided sticky tape to hold down the receiver while I did the soldering. I kind of rolled it up into a ball so it sat a little bit up off the, the board that I was doing the soldering on. Um, and the results are great. Um, I was able to go ahead and fly my uh, Nameless RC N47 with my X9 Lite, which you can't do from the factory. Um, I was disappointed when I got it with th this little micro receiver that was just a D16 micro, or sorry, not D16, a D8 micro receiver only. Unfortunately, Tenaris has this new protocol, D16 with access. It kind of sucks that it's, it's not backwards compatible, but I was able to throw another full range micro receiver in here so I should get extra distance and uh, a better signal so I'd recommend everybody do this if if you need it but if you don't need to do it I mean by all means don't take apart your aircraft just to throw a new receiver in so it was a worthwhile upgrade for me on this little guy I'll have full range and HD image now on this little nameless RC N47 and yeah, I recommend everybody try it if you need to. And if you want a little bit more range, I mean, 15, 20 bucks to be able to go as far as your eyes can see, <laughs> or as far as my goggles will go. But yeah, stick around for more, more videos like this. And uh, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel, so I need all the help I can get. Thanks.